Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's Anna. Today, I'm going to be talking about my wisdom teeth surgery, which happened 12 days ago. I can finally talk and I can finally eat again. If you're watching this video, you're probably like nervous about the whole situation. So you're probably like going on YouTube and watching a bunch of videos right before your surgery. That's exactly what I did. So funny story, the original plan was to film one of those funny wisdom teeth reaction videos, like whatever I did after I got anesthesia, but I never actually reacted to the anesthesia afterwards. So I didn't do anything funny. I'll talk about that later in the video. So instead I'm just filming this story time, talking about the whole experience. So yeah, going into the whole thing, I was really nervous. I was probably nervous about it for like a month leading up to it. I went to the doctor's office, I was kind of hoping to sit there for another 30 minutes and mentally prepare, but they called me right away and I was like, oh gosh, it's actually happening. So they took me into this little room with just a normal like dentist chair and all their supplies and stuff. They took my blood pressure and they started hooking me up. They had these little like sticky patches that they like, they put one on like my stomach, one here, and maybe one on my arm, I don't know. Those, those are just like monitors, I think. The worst part was they had to put an IV in me and they like couldn't get it into my vein because my veins are too small or something. So they were like poking around in there for a while and it really hurt. And they make you like clench your hand together and my hand was like falling asleep and it felt like it was gonna fall off. So then they had to try the other arm and eventually they got it in. So that was, honestly the worst part but that doesn't even happen to everyone so once that once it was over it was all fine so then they put this little like thing into my nose it didn't like go up far into my nose it just, like sat there and there wasn't any air or anything yet and then the doctor came in and he started talking to me and when i got into the room the nurse had said that they were gonna warn me when they were about to like put me to sleep but they like didn't so then all of a sudden the air in my nose started blowing. I think that was just the oxygen. And then I guess it was the anesthesia going through the IV in my arm. So all of a sudden that started happening. And I was like, ah. Literally before I knew it, the room just started spinning. And I was, I like knew what was happening. And it was, it made me really dizzy. So I had to close my eyes. <laughs> and this was probably when I started getting like loopy. Cause I remember being like, oh, I have to close my eyes. I said that out loud. And then I kept opening and closing them for a while. And then I started like kind of freaking out because I thought that I was supposed to fall asleep faster. I think it took me like a minute to actually fall asleep once the room started spinning. The doctor started getting all of his tools ready when I was still awake and I started kind of freaking out because I was like, shouldn't I be asleep already? But then literally 10 seconds later, I fell asleep. The thing I was most nervous for of this whole thing was just like getting anesthesia and it wasn't even that bad. like that happened and then I was asleep and then all of a sudden I woke up and I think I don't even remember when I woke up there's this one part that I remember of him lifting the chair up and I can't remember if that happened before or after I fell asleep that's really weird I feel like it happened after but I can't remember because I wouldn't be sitting up for the surgery would I I don't know, it's creepy. But then yeah, I finally woke up and I was like aware of my surroundings. And I remember saying, is it already over? And then the doctor was still in the room and he was like, yes, it's over, but try not to talk because the gauze is in your mouth. And I honestly did not feel the gauze in my mouth at all. So I was like, there's gauze in my mouth. And he was like, yeah, but try not to talk. So then I was like, oh, I have to, I can't talk. So then I, fell back asleep, I think. And then probably maybe after like 30 minutes, I woke back up and the nurse was in the room. And that was when I was like fully aware of my surroundings. And I remember there was like a tiny clock on the computer and I was trying to like see what time it was. That's when I realized that I had been asleep for like two hours and I didn't even remember any of it. There's supposed to be like a 40 minute recovery period after you get your surgery. And I thought that I would be awake during the whole thing, but I slept during, slept during, slept during, but I slept during the whole thing. Cause I woke up, looked at the clock, it had been two hours. And then the nurse 
came over and she showed me my teeth and then my mom came in the room and then we left. But the weirdest part was that as soon as I woke up the second time from my little nap or whatever, I realized that I was like completely aware of myself and I didn't do anything weird. And that's why we don't have a video from that. Like I just felt like my normal self, except that my teeth hurt. So basically the whole day my mouth was really numb. It felt like you like touch it and there's like nothing there. It was really weird. And the whole first day my lips were numb and the tip of my tongue, cause it slowly started wearing off. But by the end of the day, the tip of my tongue and this tiny section of my lip was still numb. But when I woke up the next day, it was all back to normal. So the thing that I didn't really think about was what it would be like after the surgery, cause I was mainly worried for the actual surgery. It did hurt afterwards a lot. It actually hurt a lot more than I was expecting. I used like painkillers the whole day because my mouth hurt so much. And I also used ice and I iced the size of my mouth so that it felt better. But when I was using the medicine, it made it a lot better. And all I could eat that day was like soup and a milkshake. You can't use a straw because of the dry socket stuff. But then the day after was I think the worst day. And that was when it still hurt a lot and my cheeks literally swelled up twice the size. It was crazy. Here's a picture of it. It was just, <laughs> yeah. And since they had to stretch out my mouth so much when they were actually doing the surgery, I had these little like cuts right here. So yeah, it slowly got better over the next like five days. Like every day I would wake up and I would feel a little bit better. I had to use mouthwash twice a day and then I had to use this salt rinse after every meal, which just like cleans out the back of your teeth. By the way, also they put stitches into your mouth after the surgery and they're supposed to be dissolvable. I'm not sure, I might still have some in here. I honestly don't know. But yeah, for those five days, it was kind of annoying because all I could eat was soup and smoothies and milkshakes. And I tried to eat mac and cheese, but it just hurt too much to chew. And it was also kind of hard to fall asleep sometimes because when you're like laying down, it kind of hurts more for some reason. So finally, literally like two days ago was the first day that I could actually eat something normal. I basically ate soup, smoothies and mac and cheese for like eight days. But yeah, I'm finally back to normal. I have to go to the doctor tomorrow to do my like checkup of my mouth, but I feel pretty good right now. Like I don't feel any pain. It's kind of weird that it's already over. Turns out it wasn't actually over yet. Hey guys, I'm back. So turns out I didn't end up going to that checkup appointment because we were trying to socially distance and I didn't have any like problems. Like I wasn't hurting or anything. So I was like, there's no point in going because I'm, I know that I'm fine, but if my mouth starts hurting, then I know that we should go in and get it checked. About a week passes, maybe two, I don't know. And my tooth up here starts hurting. And I'm like, okay, maybe my jaw's just sore. We'll wait one day. And if tomorrow it's still hurting, then we have to go in. Tomorrow it was still hurting. So I went in and I got it. I'll checked and the doctor said that I had an infection on the like upper left tooth and then an infection also on the lower right tooth. This side of my mouth wasn't even hurting so I had no idea how that happened. And the doctor was actually surprised that my mouth wasn't hurting more. So the doctor was like, yeah, so you have two infections. So we're gonna have to numb you up and reopen the two incisions. And I was like, like right now we have to do that? And yeah, I was hoping that it was like a whole nother thing where I just come in another day so I could like mentally prepare, but I had to do it right then and there. So like right there in the checkup room, I was given just like little sticks to stick in my mouth with like numbing gel, like little Q-tip things. And then they had a little shot thing to give me actual stuff that would like really numb me up. I feel like on this one, I didn't really feel the shot because I guess it was like really numb already from the gel, but this one, it actually hurt a lot, but it only lasted like two seconds, so it was fine. Apparently food had gotten in there and then it had closed over and then the food was still in there. So it like got infected. So like they cut open my stitches 
the part where they tied me together and they rinsed it out with like a salt water thing. It wasn't that bad because like it didn't hurt because I was numb. The main part was just that I was numb for the rest of the day. So it was kind of like a wisdom teeth removal part two for the rest of that day. But I woke up the next morning and I felt perfectly normal. So it was just like a one day thing. So that's what it's like to have two infections. Now back to the regularly scheduled programming. Going in, I thought that the surgery would be the worst part and that the recovery would be just sitting around, but it was more like the surgery was just like nothing because I just fell asleep and then it was over. And then afterwards was the worst part because it hurt a lot, but the whole thing wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about like what the whole experience is like and maybe you feel a little bit better about going in. If you have any questions about it, comment them below and I will try to answer them. If this video is helpful or interesting, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.